So, uh, thank you very much, Silvio. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, I would like to start uh, by taking you to uh, the Bolivian Amazon and to show you a video. Hopefully, it works. So, this is kids from an indigenous community uh, in Bolivia dancing. And all the story behind the dance is, is a, a portrays a story of a jaguar that enters the community and the people get together to kill it. So you can imagine this is a story that portrays and echoes across all, all, the, all the Amazon. Uh, basically because the Amazon is the, the major stronghold of, of jaguar distribution uh, in the world. So apart from this uh, conflict, let's say conflict with the uh, domestic animals, with jaguars. We also have this conflict between people and jaguars, the people that live in the forest. And these people that live in the forest depend on, on natural resources, like they hunt, they fish, also they collect some, some, some fruits or, or some nuts, like Brazil nut, like acai. And, uh, and these are the communities that we work in Conservación Amazon. And, um, uh, and we want to understand what was the problem, what was the conflict, uh, or the reason for the conflict with these communities, between these communities and the Jaguar, and understand the consequences from both sides. So where do we work? We work in three areas. So we work in the Takana indigenous community. We also work in Manuripi Reserve, which is a, a national protected area. And we also work in Santa Rosa de Albona, which is a municipality protected area. And these areas are very similar in terms of social ecological system, but they have some differences, especially in terms of uh, some activities and also of composition of the communities. Santa Rosa de Laguna is has a lot of people coming from the Andes, so people that migrated from the Andean region, and also they have a lot uh, or more uh, small agriculture and agroforestry than the others. So how, how did you study with the, the, the traditional methods to? To, that we use in these areas, uh, questionnaires. Oh, it's not showing up some things. Uh, God. So I'm sorry, some things I'm not going to show up. It's changing from computer to another one. We interviewed uh, adults and also we interviewed uh, kids uh, with questionnaires. And we, um, okay, did all the psychometric variables, attitudes, emotions, and, and all of that. It's not the Presentation is a little bit. Uh -huh. It was to be supposed to be dark and it's white. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, we also tried to understand was there a correlation between different variables and and if there was uh, any one that was influencing another and actually trying to understand what was the motive behind the jaguar jaguar killings. Okay? We also want to understand what were the differences between the different areas. If there was any difference and. Sorry, this is so bad. <laughs> and uh, also, if we can add up uh, between uh, the information from kids and from adults, and if we can understand, uh, shed a more light on, on the issue. So there's supposed to be a kid and a adult uh, there. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, so what we got a lot of results, a lot of data, but uh, I'm going to share just a, a part of it. Um, so. Okay, so on the on the on the left side is adults and the left, on the right side is kids always. So uh, we had um, when we ask uh, um, if there anyone has been attacked by, by jaguars, like uh, uh, personally or know someone that has been attacked by jaguars. Uh, in Takana, uh, there's a considerable amount of people. Thirty percent said that there has been been attacked by jaguars, or no one knows someone that was attacked by jaguars, and. Uh, than on the other communities. Also, we asked the uh, feelings, what do they feel about jaguars? Again, adults on the left, kids on the right. You see that kids have more negative feelings towards jaguars uh, uh, than adults. And in the adults, again, the kind of two indigenous community presented uh, more negative feelings than, than the other ones. Uh, in terms of risk perception or how people perceive that the jaguar is a, is a threat, uh, we see that uh, uh, the Takana 2 again uh, was, was the one that presented more, more perception of, of dangers and the kids uh, not, not so much. In terms of tolerance, uh, we see that more or less levels of intolerance 
levels of intolerance on both sides are quite uh, quite high, especially in Tekan 2, where the level of intolerance in adults is, is, is very big. But in kids, there are a lot of kids saying that they would like to the Java to increase. Sorry, the graph is. I can send you a PDF with the proper presentation. <laughs> and you see, actually, it's beautiful. Um, and then we also tested uh, some. Um, if seen if some variables correlated with other ones, we want to know if uh, the kids uh, experience or direct indirect experience, like when people uh, told them about being attacked at jaguars, could they influence what they feel and also what they think that the Java is a threat animal. And what we detected is that um, uh, that uh, in the case of, of, of feelings, not so much, but kids that heard more stories about people being attacked by Jaguar feel that these attacks are more common, which is pretty straightforward. Damn. It, should be like, it looks like art. Um, <laughs> abstract art, sorry. Um, and also, we try to understand also some correlations of which, which variables affect uh, attitudes towards, towards Jaguars. In this case, you know the gender, like women have more tendency to have a negative attitude towards Jaguars. Also, people that think that Jaguar is a threat, more threat, also have more negative towards Jaguars. And also social norms, we mean like people that have family that are more supportive. If they feel the family supports more Jaguar killing, they also have more negative uh, attitudes towards jaguars and the area was not so that should be not dark the area was not a big issue in terms of uh, in terms of jaguar killing actually in the end the behavior we detect that people that are usually older people are more tendency to kill jaguar and also people that regularly hunt okay and the people that have less ne more negative experience are either by because of jaguar attack them or know someone that was attacked by jaguar or no or have been attacked uh, the domestic animals were attacked by jaguar they also have more negative or they have more propensity to, to kill a jaguar and uh, uh, social norms again the family pressure in terms of the, the, the family do things that is good to kill a jaguar for for amount of defense they will also uh, incentivize indirectly or people feel more propensity to kill a jaguar Areas did uh, appear as, as a main e issue because there was a difference in terms of jaguar killing and uh, in terms of, again, adults on the left. Um, so Takana has half of the people who interview, half, half of the men already killed jaguar in the past. In case of, of uh, Santa Rosa, only 20% and in case of Manuripi, 33%. And when we ask what were the motives for these killings, what were the reasons, uh, so it's clear the pattern is clear. The majority of the people, 66%, say they kill jaguars because of fear of being attacked by a jaguar. And also, this was like 80% said retaliation for domestic animals attack, and some people by mistake because they were hunting and they saw an animal and they shot an animal was a jaguar, and also some people selling like six, seven percent. We also see this pattern uh, collected uh, associated. Uh, now this is the. The key to show up to the slides. And this should be is the color that should be in the slides. <laughs> uh, so when we ask kids um, uh, what uh, the jaguar is the most, uh, jaguar is the, mo the animal who is the most, and they complete the sentence, uh, we see that this fear uh, keeps popping up when they say it's the dangerous. The most furious, which are the adjectives that are more mentioned. Even you can say the 70% of the of the adjectives were really negative. Okay, here you're gonna see. I'm gonna. Okay, so the difference that we found collecting all this data uh, uh, from from the regions, from the different areas, is that is very related with the difference in social economic uh, system. What we have is, and also when we applied uh, what is called a participatory monitoring, uh, participatory risk mapping, I don't know if you heard about it, we asked which are the most threatened species for your uh, life or for the livelihoods. You see that Takana says the jaguar on the first place, Manuripi says the jaguar on the second place, 
And Santa Rosa mentions completely a different animals. It has nothing to do with jaguar. Jaguar is not on the top five. Even if you look at the animals they mention, which is the Zaguti, the Pecari, and the Macaw, are animals that are more related to damage to the agriculture or to the um, or to even to the Brazilian nut recollection. And that's a big difference in terms of, of uh, is associated to the difference in terms of social ecological system. Because in Takana and in Manuripi, people hunt more, they collect more Brazilian nut because families have a huge extension to collect uh, Brazilian nut, so they spend more time in the forest, so higher chance of interacting with jaguars. Where in Santa Rosa, they have small, small areas to collect Brazil nuts, so they spend less time in the forest collecting Brazil nuts, and they have more agriculture and more agroforestry. So, we are working in uh, solutions, trying to figure out solutions to improve the livelihoods, a little bit the approach that Amy and Dr. Professor David McDonald talk about, but there's one issue that we still cannot get our heads uh, to find a solution. We really don't know what to do and how to revert it, which is the main cause of, of, the, of jaguar killing, which is fear. How can we solve fear? How can we diminish fear? And um, we know that it's easy to, well, it's easy, let's say, to reduce the uh, risk of attacking a domestic animals. You know there's some technical things that we can do, but how can we make a person comfortable walking in the forest and facing a jaguar or walking in the forest and seeing or knowing that the jaguar is around? That's a big issue. And I will leave the question to you. Uh, maybe there's someone here who has experience with that, or uh, knowledge, or insights, and I would love to, if you could share with me. So this is uh, all the institutions I would like to thank for all the support, and thank you very much.